Okay, I'd like to call to order the April 14th, 2021 meeting of the East Hampton Historical Commission. The first order of business is public sheet. No public, okay. Uh, second to order, approval of the March 10th and the April 1st minutes. Anybody get a chance to take a look at them? Yeah, don't be don't be shy about making any edits. I was especially on the uh, April 1st ones. I was pretty quick with it, so I made any mistakes on there, or, or you want to reword it? I'm certainly open to it. <coughs> I, I'm happy, to, and I'm happy to make a motion. But I wasn't at the the well. We did. We'll, 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 we'll take the uh, the March tenth ones first. So I'll make a motion to approve the March twenty twenty one meeting. We have a motion to approve the March tenth meetings as written. Minutes as written. Uh, okay, uh, John. Second. Yeah, your name. Your second. Okay. Uh, Let's take a vote, John. Yay. Tracy. Yes. Nora. Yes. Beverly. Aye. Mike. Aye. Okay, so that passed. And uh, do we have a motion on the April 1st minutes? I move we accept the April 1st minutes as <clears throat> offered. Second. I second. Can't. <laughs> you weren't there. <laughs> I know, but no one was saying anything, so I was offering. <laughs> oh boy. Crazy. Hi. Okay. Crazy. Hey, stepping up. Hi. We got, we got a second. Okay. All right. Beverly. Hi. Hi. All right. Nora. No, you're <laughs> not voting. I'm sorry. Okay. I guess that's out of the way. Correspondence. Yeah, so I wanted to bring forward, um, we got a notice from um, <coughs> the planning department or the planning board um, regarding the proposed um, redevelopment of 47 and 49 Cottage Street. Um, that's the yeah. gas station and um, Jim's package store. Um, there is a proposal it's been approved a couple of times to convert that into uh, housing and to keep the liquor store use on the first floor. Um, the most recent uh, plan involves demolition of, of all the structures on the site. Previous plans had kept the liquor store, the Jim's package store. Um, and um, although they have not yet applied for um, a demolition permit we are trying to um figure out if this if the historical commission would consider uh any of these structures historically significant um so we can advise the applicant as to whether or not they're going to need to go through the demolition delay process um and so this is not a a demolition delay it's just the uh the first piece of it of the historical significance um and if yes then they would come through the demo delay process formally. And if no, then we could just um, go ahead with them. Um, Do we know uh, if it's on the register? Um, so I, I, it is not on the any of the registers. It has not been inventoried. Um, it is not part of the Cottage Street, the Nashawanic Mills Historic District. Um, it is not included on the list of properties that we uh sent to it was not part of the survey and planning grant the inventory project we're working on um so you know it's not to my to my just very brief research it doesn't have any past like no one else in the past has said like this is an important building um i think the package store was built in 1965 and the my gas Tom, station excuse me Tommy, it was Tommy Lynn's package store. Okay. Um, and I think, you know, given the, the 50 years, it just barely makes the 
it's like a 56 year old building or something like that. So um, the, the, the gas station um, has a longer history, um, but I don't think that any of the current structures on the property are the original structures. I could be wrong about that. Um, and if the commission wants to take more time to discuss this and think about this um, and do some researching before making an answer, that's fine as well. So I, I was looking for a copy of our demo delay and I didn't happen to have one handy in front of me. So, uh, I mean, it says 50 years basically, or in yes. the street or... So technically, Correct. they both kind of fall underneath that, uh, that umbrella, I would say, right? Correct. And, and, the, and the way that the process goes is that this is like a, because of its age, it would be, it would come to this, the commission for that determination. determination of significance. Like, is it a historically significant property or, or, or not? Um, but it's, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have... <clears throat> Excuse me. Tommy Lynn was on the historic commission. Um, I think when it was started, uh, Thomas Lynn, and it was a nice looking building when he had it. It was a, one of the nicest looking buildings on cottage street when he built it, <clears throat> but it uh, of course doesn't. The packy store and not the, the machine shop, right? Just the package store. He built the brick package store and it was quite a nice looking building and had nice signage when um, he owned it. What, uh, what was there before? I can't remember what was there before. I but, can't either. I mean, I remember when they kind of when they were built, they built that. Or when yeah. Fairly new. In 60, yeah. And it, it looked, it was a nice looking building. He had nice signage. Uh, he was a very uh, genteel man. Um, and he was on a historic commission. So I think he took some consideration in, in building it, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's, I think, still one of the nicest buildings if it weren't for all of the extra signage on it. But well, that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And we have not seen any plans for its replacement at this point. There is one that Jamie sent today. Right. And and, and so those 2019 plans that were approved by the planning board right. um, did not, um, the, the, the building was not demolished in those plans. It was somehow incorporated into the newer buildings and the newer structures. Right. Um, I think that realities of construction are making them reconsider that. Take it down and then build it brand new, sure. Well, we need, to, we need to consider it because of the age, right? I mean, one way or the other, if, if they come to us with it. Which, well, um, so I guess what we're, what, so although they have not officially applied for the demolition permit we're just trying to advise the applicant like the historic commission thinks that this is an important building you'll, you'll need to go through the demolition delay process or you know it's 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 not an important it's not a historically significant building and they're exempt from the demo process the demo delay process yes john um yeah, I wanted to let people know that <clears throat> while it's been some number of years, when I first moved here, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I was really interested. And I went down there because I think uh, one of the photos I have on the website has that corner and has just the corner of what would have been the building where the package store is. Um, and I had learned that the machine shop or whatever you want to call it, the gas station was the older of the two buildings. And I went there, um, and they actually let me, I walked end to end and checked it out and was of the mind as well. It looked to me like I'm, I'm not an expert in the construction type, but this was a cinder block building that did not seem to have any, there's, I'll put it this way, aside from perhaps a basement or something, and I'm not talking about the package store, just the other one. And I didn't see any signs that there is a basement. It seemed very not a significant kind of building. The only debate and the thing that wasn't resolved was, 
They thought that the only thing that might have been the older remains was an outbuilding out back, and we didn't got I didn't get to see in that or anything. But it looked like a garage where they store snowplow stuff and all. So I can account for that much of it. And I tried researching, and as far as I could tell, there just wasn't anything there. Uh, I was curious about the package store, but it also doesn't seem to match building that's in the image that I have. So there's what I know. Cool. Mike, do you remember if the garage that was there was a wooden one? I do not remember that. I think it, it might have had like uh, like 1950s and 60s garages with that white. Uh, I'm not even sure. Is that porcelain or whatever? The enamel, uh, the enamel panels. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't even you know you know it's been so long you keep looking at the same building and it's you know maybe changed yeah. a little bit but I don't know if there are any pictures of it. I, I am of the opinion at, at this point that the demolition of either one of those buildings probably would not be detrimental to the overall look of Cottage Street. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm looking at an aerial view of that that section, and the the cottage street lot looks like it goes back much further than Jim's package, even including the driveway. And then there is an I don't know if it's a resident or a garage on Adam Street. Um, do if I could, do you mind sharing your screen if I give you not, not at all. I can do okay. that. Is that if you don't mind? Yep. Thanks. Um, okay. So you should now be co-host and Thank be you. able to share. All right. Uh, all right. So if you see, so this whole air, like, is this area back here? This is part where, can you see, is my cursor? Mm -hmm. This whole area, like, I know that's a, an outbuilding um, that may be the one that you're speaking of, John. Um, and I don't know what's under the tree line here off the top of my head, even though I know I've walked around here. Is this building a part of the scene that is going to be raised? Okay. But this this part is where the, the outer building is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was just curious. Um, so the footprint of space that who, uh, whoever is possibly going to raise these buildings goes back further on on this side than it does on adams okay. yeah. the building with the brownish roof i think at one time was a um, print shop where they um, printed uh, t-shirts and other things and i don't know if it's part of that property or not well i know mantis graphics across right. does the those printing, but the one under the number two mm -hmm. has pinball machines and video games. They've got arcade repair. Um, I don't think it, I'm, I'm not sure what the status of it as an active business is, but that's what's in there currently. It's not residential. Now, my question is under number four, there's a little cottage house. Mm -hmm. And my question was, isn't the property directly behind it theirs? Because I think that goes all the way back. And it, my impression from looking at it was, that that's theirs all the way back straight back mm -hmm. um, well um, the view and maybe that does that give us more yeah. information yeah i'm gonna um pull it up on our gis which okay. will actually show the the property lines you want um, me to stop take, um it's gonna take me a minute my internet's slow with the zoom okay. going on in the background so if you look here john this says with four it looks like the lot ends and and that what's behind it is technically probably goes with the um, the old mill building property. Interesting. Go back there. I'm assuming they can only build on their own lot, which means it does end right where that outbuilding ends. <clears throat> also, it is it is a you know a, the gradation of the land. There's a big drop. So right. right. Really steep. Yeah, that was okay. So, Nora, I'm gonna steal the there, screen there, sharing. There you go. Okay, so um, you can see 
the that's this lot here, mm -hmm. number three and number two. Um, and in the, in the screen that Nora was just showing, number four was shown as the, um, the building with the beige roof. And I think number five was the one that, um, maybe, maybe John, you were asking about the, the piece here where my cursor is. Uh, yeah, that, but it looks like it doesn't technically belong to that building, even if it is maybe part of their backyard. I think that's right. a bit. I think it's a very steep hillside there. If you go down the the road in in back of um, um, uh, what's the building there with the apartments? Yeah, yeah. So I guess th it resolves the the answer to the question: Would that be part of their build? And the answer is no, right? Right. So it's just the Cottage Street Motors and the Jim's Package Store. It's these. One, two, three, four, and 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 like like you said, John, I believe that these two lower one-story concrete block buildings are the um, the older the oldest buildings on the on the site. Um, we don't have exact dates, um, but it's sometime yeah. after 1900. And and you know, again, the best way I think I can put it is they're a straight cinder block build I've seen a lot of. It's just a utility building. There's nothing of historical significance that I can imagine for that cinder block construction. No, I can't either. Yeah, and the last time I was in that building, it, I mean, it was literally, even though the business was open, it was it was the the ceilings were falling in. Um, yeah, the roof on the front part, I think, even has tarps on it. You know, the gray roofs. Yeah. Tires, yeah. The, uh, yeah, you can see that you can see the tires on the on the photo on the ortho photo here. Yep. So, and we're not we're not making any any motion or anything right now. You're just giving us information about it coming down the 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 bike. Well, or no, I mean, if if. The board decided, determined that it's not his, that these properties are not the buildings on the properties are not historically significant. Then the applicant will not come to the board for a demolition delay hearing. If the board, if the commission tonight decides that they are historically significant or it's potentially historically significant and would like to have a full demolition delay hearing, then um, we'll make that route happen. Um, but if you know, so it's not it's not a question of like demolition delay or not right now. It's a it's a question of it's historically significant or not. Um, right. I, I I will reiterate my my opinion that I don't think it would be detrimental to the neighborhood to see those go. Uh, yeah, I would know, I be you know, I went by today and you know it, it just. They don't, they don't really look that great. Yeah. Um, one of them, you know. And I mean, yeah. obviously, the package store, I haven't been in there very often lately, especially when it's kind of jammed all everything in there. So it's like you benefit him anyways to put in a bigger store or whatever, or, or better laid out. It's, it's just my, my take on it at this point. I mean, I would be uh, And, you know, what would be the significance of a 1965 package store? Yeah, and that's my package store. I'm in there, and uh, I've been in, like I said, the machine shop where I'd get the inspection sticker, and my yep. vote would be in support of them making the move. I, I would not. My vote would be not to delay. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, I mean, that's kind of one of the questions that I wanted to answer as we review these demo delays. I mean, what's what do we consider to make it significant? It's not only age, obviously. I, I guess it's like how it fits in a neighborhood, and and uh, and if it was torn down, would people actually really notice uh, and you know, feel a lot? Yes. I, you know, I mean, it, it, part of it is, I guess, is kind of emotional. Well, I mean, we could we could break it down in certain things we talk about, right? We've already said, like, if a historically significant person, you know, somebody that was meaningful to the town or, or history, that would be one kind of reason. Mm -hmm. Or if the building 
you know, had housed any person or is significant, you know, like the mill buildings. So like, there's probably some criteria if we wanted to list them out as what factors we consider when determining whether it has maybe what we would say is, because I guess I understand that saying something doesn't have historic significance is a little problematic. Right. Maybe what we would say is it, it doesn't have historic significance that requires our protective intervention. Well, that's well said, yeah. It's, that's yeah. Uh, and, and, in, and in that sense, you know, you're, you're probably right where you don't really need to intervene in that because it wouldn't be a loss to the town. Yeah, you know, I mean, if it was a, a cool old 1950s gas station that, you know, still retained its original look, you might go, oh, uh, we don't want to lose that. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, so, I think that the mill uh, housing is an example there. It's a, a, a part of the character of the neighborhood, even though, you know, as buildings go, I don't know how they register on the level of importance next to Greek revival or Italianate, whatever, but I would think we would definitely protect those. They are significantly a, a, a factor in the nature of the neighborhood and the culture. Well, so, the history of the town also. Well, that's what I mean, right? That's the historical justification, I guess I'm saying, right? And it's all those things. I, I'm going to, I got uh, the 1910 fire map in that area. Take a look at that. Everybody see that now? Yeah. Except Tracy. Yeah, uh, yeah so I can't see it. My thing is, will this affect the? It, it's not really going to affect the landscape of of the of the street. No, no, not at all. The uh, okay, so this this right here, the tenements. This is where the package store is now, and this is where the garage is. This is 1910, I believe. Uh, it doesn't appear that the uh, this is. Although, I can take a look at that garage, maybe. Might be similar. It, it might be this part of this might be here. I, I really can't say. So I, I kind of uh, kind of doubt it. That's that's a brick building too. And I believe the, says, red, the red is brick. And it says tenements, which would yeah not convert to a gas station yeah. without oh, destruction yeah, right. of the. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, so, they were, they were clever back then, though. They could probably, they could do anything. <laughs> yeah. 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 And this one's interesting. It's the way they kind of stacked it going smaller and smaller. Yeah, kind of strange. But, uh, yeah, I figure that, you know, that might be helpful just to kind of shed some light on what you're, you know, it's not anything that's really original to that area. Um, at least, as best we can determine here. Well, like I said, the, you know, this is this is all wood. The shed that would be over here is not there, or or this could be part of it. Who knows? Now, what is, you got the other map up still? Okay. Um, I closed it. I can bring it back up though. Uh, that's don't worry about it. I mean, it's the twenty-four. It's it's got to be a couple houses down, right? There's a big. The big building here and then the small one next to it. Just wondering if that was the third one down from here or the fourth one. But it is not really relevant to the conversation. I was just kind of curious. I'm sorry, which which one? The one on Adam Street, um, let's see, right here, right across from the yeah. uh, row house. It, it looks like the property lines have not changed. Um, and that 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 there have been like three or four houses that have been filled in between what's yeah. shown on the plan as building D here, or sorry, the two and a half. D stands for dwelling. So oh, basically a house. Fourteen then. Um, cool. So if for if that's number fourteen, we now have uh, it goes to number four, and there's housing all the way up to number four. So. Yeah. 
Um, so I want to, if you don't mind, I'm going to pull up the um, architectural renderings of what was proposed in the past. Um, so I'm going to steal the screen sharing if you like. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so, so for the scrolling, let me start at the top here. So this is showing the um, the two loot the, the sorry the two lots um, and showing the package store being reincorporated in um, and then this would be um, from Cottage Street what you would see um, the lower one is I believe what you would see from um, the mill buildings or, or the mill from, building. from yeah. the mill buildings yeah which is kind of a mirror of the mill building facade on the opposite side mm -hmm. right but i think that incorporation of the package store is kind of awkward well that's off the yeah. table <clears throat> right and so now you can see from adam street where jim's package store was sort of kept as this like one and a half story structure up, up against the three story structure. Yeah, um, totally bizarre. And then here's a color rendering. And so much nicer in the drawing. I guess is, oh, okay, I see the parking lot is basically instead of where the machine shop is now in the, in the gas station. Is that right? Uh, um. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how exactly. I think the, uh, I, I, think say, it, so, I think it says on the pictures that these aren't exact representations. It's just to show you of the, the materials that would be used in yeah. different areas. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I think that the building, the, the residential units and the, the storefronts on the, on, um, Maple Street or Cottage Street would be um, partly where the the gas station is now, and then the parking lot is sort of between what, what's there. Maybe, maybe the footprint is a little bit overlapping, but um, clarify for me because I remember in the master plan we really supported the idea that there should be like the residential on top and business on bottom as much as possible. Are all of these first floors businesses? Um, no, I think it's just the front of the the building on the first floor is business um, business use, but the back would be all residential, I believe. Um, and this is like my I've not been paying attention to this project for a while, so it's it's definitely changed over time. So um, <coughs> from the drawing, so I can't. I can't from the drawings, I think it's a very awkward incorporation of the old building. Right. Yeah. Well, but we, we won't have to worry about that anyway. No. Did, did you see, Jamie, though, that the, the, what we're seeing in these pictures is <laughs> not what the current plan is in terms of the, right. the, the gym's Exactly. Guy. Okay. This so, is the, this is the twenty nine. This is the twenty nineteen approval, gotcha. and this is if I mean I don't know what the the um, developers thinking, but my guess is this is what they would go back to if demolition delay was imposed on them, um, because it doesn't sound like the commission's particularly interested in doing any de sort of demo delay on the gas station and the the. the the repair shop side of things it would only be for the, the package store. Um, and so we would end up with something that looks like that. Yeah. 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 And personally, I, I don't know that that's better, but I mean, if, if anybody were watching and listening, because I think, again, I would reiterate, I, I approve replacing it all, but my, my concern aesthetically would be, on this Adam Street facing side and, and the Maple Cottage Street facing side is what they're proposing here is very bulky and square. And they, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they basically they basically filled in that corner 
oh. that is the indent in the building with this low brick, funny windows. <clears throat> um, Probably coolers and whatnot. And added a roof on to it also, which is very awkward. <laughs> yeah, I would hope they could maybe come up with a better design because, um, again, as a neighbor of this very building, uh, I think it could be better. But as a historical <laughs> member i i do not oppose them trying something other than what's there yeah so you don't you don't feel either one of them is all that significant i don't myself just i i, I kind of feel the same way you know i think it would be fine without uh, without either one of those buildings there the only part of the package store i haven't been in is the basement and again we know it's date. You can pretty I, much take. I have. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you didn't miss anything. <laughs> so there you go. We, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the building's been kind of hacked up too. You know. So. But a, yeah. Anyways, uh, I, I guess if you know, just by age. I mean, obviously, the machine shops and those sheds and whatnot are I'm sure plenty old enough but what would would I lose any sleep over saying that you, know, you could take them down no, not really well they're not architecturally significant at all no, at not, you know, not not even the, the package mm -hmm. store has really any kind of uh, design that you're looking at it going oh wow we, you know we should say that it's just kind of a mm -hmm. little brick building so. No, I would I would uh, commend them for having tried to fit into more of a colonial style. That's always what I had argued at the Stop and Shop meeting was, hey, I've seen Stop and Shops that look like the rest of the town they're in. If you're going to do something, at least try to make an effort to make it look like it belongs here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, like you said, if they did something like that with a package store on the first floor uh, and kind of mirror the the business feel of the other side of the street and all that would be more than adequate to uh, compensate for the loss of the uh, gas station garage uh, machine shop package store uh, and, and you know obviously the, their space is not all that great anyway so you know, it, would, it would be a <coughs> on their side okay anybody else have any more comments on this I have one quick clarifying question, just and that's that in the rendering as well, Jamie, it looked like the, the, the sidewalk was minimalized, but I assume that's just a standard. They have to, there's no option on that, right? They have to do a full sidewalk there, don't they? Yeah, I believe that that, that because of where it is um, in the downtown, there will be sidewalk um, on, on all the, you know, on the Cottage Street side and the Adam Street side. Whether or not it was shown in that rendering, um it's sort of like That's not good. um yeah, so i'm just looking at the plans um yeah and so the plans the plans have uh sidewalks with street uh street tree planters benches bike racks well, um, well, the garage is the sidewalk a little wider right yeah um but i think it's it's you know what they're going to put in is a better sidewalk than what's there now. But yeah, it's a tough spot now to walk through. I mean, it doesn't really get a lot of foot yep. traffic. Yep. So. It's a lot of foot traffic. It gets, I know, uh, wheelchair, bicycles, little kids, a lot of traffic at that particular spot. Well, yeah, but well, there's really no sidewalk where the garage is. No. Right. You're, you're kind of walking on the edge of the road. So uh -huh. that, that would also be an improvement to the area. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, do we do this by consensus or do you want to make a vote and a motion? Um, well, good question. Uh, I think, uh, well, I, actually, why don't we uh, have a motion? If someone could make one. Mm -hmm. It's a negative, though, right? We're, we, we, so I would say that. Yeah, I would I would say if if the easiest way to do it would be to make the motion something like that uh, 
47 and that the, the structures on 47 and 49 are historically significant to the city and then all in favor would be a, a motion would be to, to support that and against would be uh, not and then we don't have any word double negatives and people voting for the thing uh, in, a, in support of not doing the thing anybody want to take a stab at it <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will move that we um, <laughs> get there. Um, we are supporting the, and I'm sorry, I need to help. Well, right here. I actually, would you know, like to say the uh, make a motion to consider the buildings at 47 and 49 Cottage Street significant. And then we just wrote it down. To, to consider them significant? Yeah. yeah. You don't have to vote yes. Oh, oh, I see. I see. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> moving that we uh, vote that the uh, buildings on uh, the, the aforementioned lots are historically significant. <laughs> Got a second? No. Somebody? <laughs> Motion's going to die. <laughs> uh, I, I second the okay. motion. Thank you. <laughs> All in favor of the motion to consider 47 and 49 Cottage Street historically significant. Uh, we'll do a roll call vote. Um, First, Beverly. No. no. Okay. Nora. Uh, no. John. No. Tracy. No. Michael. No. And so uh, the motion does not pass. Uh, we will not consider forty-seven and forty-nine Cottage Street historically significant. Great. Very good. Thank you. That was good. Great. Okay. Well done. Yeah. Uh, okay, 5 and 9 East Street. We got an update on that? Yes. Um, so planning for oh. <laughs> Beverly, would you like to give the update? Would you like to me to read the postcard that I got? Please. In accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 40A, you are hereby notified that the East Hampton Planning Board has voted to approve this below special permit and filed the decision with the East Hampton City Clerk. American Dream Realty LLC seeking a special permit under 12.7 of the Zoning Ordinance and Stormwater Management Permit under 1276 of the St City Ordinance for construction of a 1,920 square foot drive through restaurant, Duncan, driveway, parking areas, and associated site work subsequent to demolition of an ex existing single family dwelling and garage. Property is located at 5 and 9 East Street and is in the Highway Business District. Decisions can be viewed online at easthamptonma.gov slash planning board. And I um, think that this is contingent still on him agreeing to put in a traffic light down here at the intersection and he has to pay and it's gonna be around $500,000. He has to pay to have it done. And, and my understanding was the permits for that have to be um, had to be solidified, I guess. I don't I don't know exact terminology um, that he had sought to do that and that the permits would go through um, because mass DOT approved it um, as long as uh, he was paying for it. Okay. So 
So, and, uh, and any person, municipal municipal officer, or municipal board aggrieved by this decision has until Sunday, April 26, to appeal this decision to Hampshire County Superior Court or District Court pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 40A, Section 17. So that, well, I just got this two days ago. <clears throat> so at this point, we really don't need to do anything until he gets kind of everything set up right. to go, right? He hasn't really come back about anything, has he? Um, so, I mean, I think that the, the Historic Commission had sort of provisionally granted the demolition request pending the approval of the planning board right. process. Um, and the planning board's uh, approval is conditional on the Mass DOT, like actually building that intersection, doing that intersection work. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they said it might take six to 12 months for that to happen. Right. Well, I mean, you know, obviously, if the project gets started where they're altering the intersection, then it's a pretty good chance that it's going to happen, right? Yeah. I mean, so it's just a question of like, I think the Mass DOT process is, um, you know, they're, they're, like Beverly said, because it's being fi privately financed, this, this intersection improvements, they're not up, you know, there was a traffic. Right. study traffic impact all that and they agreed that the level of service for that intersection was low and going to be lower and that it did need an inner it didn't need improvements so um you know and, and they're not paying for it so they want you know so it'll go through but it still has their like it still has to go through their process of review and all that um right. but assuming that that goes forward you know they're um because their review process is not, they're not going to deny it. They'll just come back with changes like you need to do this thing instead. Or, um, well, yeah, he has, he doesn't seem like he's in a super hurry to take it down. I mean, has Jim actually got his stuff out of there yet? No, no, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, Jim has been working on this for months and months and months. We haven't seen him lately. And the, the yard there is still full of stuff in the building and his little plot across the street is still full of stuff. My understanding is he's moving to Middlefield, but um, well, there's still a whole lot of stuff in the, in the yard there. Yeah. Well, he's got years and years of stuff there for sure. All right. So I think I said, I don't, we, I, don't feel we need to do anything at this point. Um, it goes back to the, you'll go back to building inspector, right? Right. So the decision is filed. There's the appeal period. Uh, I think Beverly said April 26th. Um, and, you know, if, if people want, they can look at the decision. It's posted on our, um, the planning department page, or sorry, the planning board page of the website. Um, it's easthamptonma.gov slash planning board. Well, it, has he also made concessions to the neighbor over there? He has made concessions to both neighbors. Um, I know the neighbor across the street, her driveway would be directly in line with the Duncan driveway. And um, at one of the planning board meetings, she spoke about this and he agreed to put in um, a little turnaround in her driveway and to put in uh, bushes and stuff at the front of her property and a tree. And I think that the adjacent property he's agreed to put in a fence and a hedge um as far as i know i didn't go to that last meeting i had something else going on cool. but um that's what i think the current plan is if this all goes through cool. all right 
So, uh, what do you want to tackle next? The demo delay bylaw, or I mean, it's already 25 after we've been at this for 50, well, 45 minutes anyway. Uh, the last time we were talking about the demo delay, we were still hung up on what was it exactly that we were hung up on? How to how to give somebody permission to say yes or no without uh, it's the student wants? Um, I I would I love to this would be really good. Go ahead. Uh, I would love to move to 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 table that to the next meeting yeah. and just either if there's you know the updates on on the next two items yep. we could just go to that if it, but that's that's I agree I agree okay. uh, Nora I have no problem with that this is a it almost deserves one of its a meeting of its own uh right mm -hmm. uh, maybe when we have hardly anything going on, or maybe when we can finally meet in person, we can actually hack, it, hack that up. Oh, that how many a dream. How many people have been vaccinated? Not yet. I got one. I got my second one on Friday. One shot next Saturday, I get the second one. In here. Hey. I have the J&J. &J. <laughs> oh, lucky. Lucky me. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> It's it's more rare than winning the lottery now. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Buy some lottery tickets. You get a better chance. Well, now they're <laughs> talking about this problem with the J and J, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it's very rare. I think the the clotting. I feel like seven, seven, seven well, million. Well, six one, 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 seven million. Yeah, it's almost almost one in a million. So, it, like, yeah. that's pretty low. Yeah. Okay, so uh, about the Main Street Extension Area Inventory Update. Okay, so our consultants um, went to, they, came, they were in town last week, um, and they um, did all of the photography that they made. So they had identified the, the you know, we the Historic Commission, we had um, made that target inventory list, mm -hmm. um, and they... Um, we wanted to get them out to do photographs of the structures before trees started to leaf out. Um, so we rushed the the process a little bit. Normally, we would have spent more time going back and forth on that um, that um, I, actually identifying which of those. I think we gave them like two hundred prop, uh, properties and 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 laying it down. So they they took some shortcuts and made their determinations based off of our list that we've given them um, and went out last week to do the photography, got the, they went to at least a hundred sites um, to do that. Um, and then they're going to, we're going to continue to go back and forth. And then um, did, we did prim, um, preliminarily hear back from Mass Historic um, that the, the, um, National Park Service would be uh, granting extensions on the on the funds this year, like, um, so we do have a little bit more time than the September 30th deadline that would originally happen. So, if they do need to come back in the fall to do some photographs on other buildings that they didn't have a chance to do or get identified as we go forward, uh, there will be an opportunity to to make that up. Um, and um, there's also, um, we're waiting, they, they, there's a, some, there's the report that they're putting together for this, that'll be the final project. Um, we received the first chapter, basically, um, Mass Historic gave them a bunch of comments, and they're going to send a revised version. When I get that revised version, I'm going to transmit it to the Historic Commission for your, your review as well. Um, and also that the, the property list, I'll have a list of what was actually on the list that was inventoried. What's that? Did you, did you get that list today? I got the list today. I didn't have a chance to go through it to it identify like which ones were like, on it. yeah. yeah. So I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have a list to go through to see like which ones didn't they do and which ones did they do or, I mean, you know, which ones they waited out. 
uh, uh, oh, I mean, out of what are what we gave them? Correct. Okay. So, yeah. so I wanted to I wanted to go through and just kind of make sure, like, in that list that that there wasn't something that everybody thought was really important and they just didn't do. And we had identified for you know the 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 high priority, and they did. I think all of the ones that we said were high priority. So. Yeah. It was only like the lower priority ones that I see they a couple maybe on there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So good. Um, so I'm going to go through that list and and sort of redline it to show which ones they did not do from our original list, and then I'll send that to the commission. I'll, I'll, um, and like I said, when there's some yeah. in inventories on there, and I, I'm assuming they're going to update those mm -hmm. and flush them out. Yeah. Before. Yeah, I think any of the inventories that we had done in the past that, that, that sorry, that Margaret Kepler did not do. The, so she was involved in the 95 inventory and did a really excellent job on the narratives and the forms and things like that. Um, going back to the 70s, a lot of those uh, inventory forms were just lacking a lot of information. And um, so I think those are probably the ones that they went back to. Again, I'd have to look and see um, for that, more. And that was one of the reasons we wanted to get into this in the first place, because some of those would barely, you know, I mean, they were, yeah, there was an inventory form, but there wasn't a whole lot of information on it. Right. Well, most of, most of all, all of those were done by people on the committee just going to uh, research them wherever they could, either at the Registry of Deeds or any town information and um, or local people, local historians. So it was not done by someone with the kind of background that Margaret had. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is phase one or that they're working on or is this part of phase two already? Uh, the, the, yeah, the photographs for phase two. Um, but they're still they're sort of like they were. Um, I think that so Mass Historic allowed our consultants to go to phase two, even though the report revisions were technically had to be completed before phase one was okay. complete. But because of the timing, they're like we we they they got the revisions, but the revisions will be brought back as the report for phase two. Um, so that it was just sort of a timing thing to make sure that yes. we actually have pictures of buildings and not leaves. Yeah, well, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. Um, did you get to meet with her at all? I did not. Uh, um, I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get a chance to you know, at least meet her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we've zoomed a little bit, but not. Um, oh, I mean, a couple of meetings, but I figured she'd be in town. She'd be like, hey, I'm here, uh, you know. Yeah. I think COVID makes, every, COVID makes everything a little bit weird. So. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's for sure. Um, well, but she did, um, they were at um, the Williston campus and did a lot of work there. Um, got, um, you know, that was a nice. Bonus. There, the Billiston was very uh, helpful with uh, yeah. making sure that she got, um, you know, they they hooked her up with the facilities, people, so that she could access whatever buildings, um, and they had all their COVID protocols and everything like that that they're very stringent on. So, um, yeah. you know, looking forward to seeing the results. Yeah, I am too. Be very interesting. Okay, um, so as we move on on that, we'll probably be Zoom meeting again. I'm sure. So, yes. So there'll be a phase meet. There'll be a phase meeting when phase two is completed. It should be tended scheduled for the end of the month, um, and then they'll submit the. Like I said, they'll resubmit the phase one products with the additional phase two products. Um, and when I get that, I will send it to the committee for the, this commission for review and comment. Okay. I guess we can move along. We, we don't have anything on the canal. Right? Um, I did hear back, but nothing official. Okay. Um, but unofficially, um, 
we the 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 grant will move forward again. So, okay. um, but it's been it's been on pause since December. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I guess that's just about it. So those of us that haven't had dinner yet can can go do that. And the rest of you can, uh, of course, we, we have two more things that we need to do before you're allowed to eat. Uh, schedule the next meeting, which will be May. Wow. It's just a case of May. May. May 12th would be the next, would be the second Wednesday in May. Okay. That works for everyone. It seems to be okay at this point. Not a whole lot going on still, so. May 12th good with everybody, 6.30? Yeah. May 12th. Yep. Works for me. Okay. 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 And... Finally, now this one, everybody will jump on them. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I so move. <laughs> Second? Aye. Okay. Good. 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 That was crazy, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you all so much. See you, see you uh, next time.